Mr. Samir, captain, all the way from beautiful Ghana. Please welcome to the ring, BBC General Secretary, Khalid Ahmed Azam, and BBC Medical Board Chairman, Naeem Ahmed Azam. And please welcome your referee in the ring for this bout, May Mensa Akakpo. Ladies and gentlemen, we would now like to welcome our chief guests for the evening into the ring. First up, the Information Minister for the Government of Gilgit Baltistan. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Fateh Allah Khan. Please acknowledge in the ring, Secretary Power and Water, Sajjad Hader! And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome into the ring first, boxing out of the blue corner, the challenger from Tanzania, Fikiri Saloum Mohammed!
Ladies and gentlemen, the stakes cannot get any higher. The stage cannot be any bigger. This is what it's all about. The WBO World Youth Championship. Usman Wazir, the champion. Fikiri Salu Muhammad, the undefeated opponent. 14 knockouts between them in their 17 fights. This is going to end one way or the other. And I have a good feeling somebody's going to sleep. On his home turf, in front of his people, under the stars, Usman Vazir is now taking on Fikiri Saloum, the toughest fight of his career. It is thunderous here inside the Lalikjan Stadium. Chants of Usman have already started. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a big fight feel if I've ever felt it. So many different factors go into this fight. The pressure off this stage, the anxiety induced by this crowd, the lights, everything weighs in right now on the mind of these fighters in the biggest fight of both of their careers. Fikiri Saloum finding his rhythm in the second minute of this first round. Eight rounds for the WBO World Youth Championship. So far, neither fighter able to establish the dominance they need to in order to secure this fight. Usman now with the first Multiple punch combination and it was a beautiful one. Both fighters have their guards up. Respect is there for both of them, for each other in terms of their striking power and ability. 14 knockouts out of 17 fights total. That is an insane percentage. Jab down the middle for Osman. Fikiri Saloum throwing jabs here. None of them have landed so far. Usman is unblemished. That might be the first bit of adversity he's seen all night. First round of eight. Both fighters are smart about conserving their energy. They need to do that. Cannot get overzealous. Usman trying to corner him here, but Fakiri doing a good job of pushing him away. Nice jabs down the middle by the challenger. <laughs> Neither fighter has exploded to the point where you can consider it dangerous. Both of them have played a smart game for round one. Usman Wazir confident going into his corner. Fikiri Saloum seems comfortable as well. This is going to be an insane fight, ladies and gentlemen. I can already feel it. We are here with round number two, WBO World Youth Championship on the line. Usman Wazir and Fikiri Saloum. 
a lot of pressure, a lot of risk for the Asian boy in front of his own people in the toughest fight of his career in his hometown of Gilgit, Gilgit city. Raucous crowd here tonight on hand. The biggest crowd I've seen for any sporting event for Gilgit. Usman immediately going in with those heavy shots. Usman Wazir's game plan typically stick and move, tire the other opponent out, make them make a mistake. Let's see if he's going to keep the same approach today. Fakir Saloum is a hard hitter. He has massive hands the size of stones. I've never seen hands that big. Let's see if they're going to be a factor. Fakiri says nothing doing with that right. Let's see if he meant it or if he's playing poker here. Mehboob Ahmed Nurzai in the corner of Usman Wazir. He's trained hard for this as the Asian boy. But not only has he trained hard, he's put this entire event together. He's managed everything himself. That is the dedication of this man. Normally fighters recover after a weight cut. He was running around Gilgit making sure everything's good for this event. Will that be a factor in this fight? Fikiri Saloum seems comfortable. Cardio doesn't seem to be an issue either. Usman currently watching these punches come and he's doing a good job of blocking and countering but Fakir is starting to find some success. Those are heavy hands, I'm telling you. Right straight for Fakiri and a left hook was there. Usman now pressuring him. Ooh, that right hand just missed Fakiri. Usman is starting to find his power punching rhythm and range here. And that is a very dangerous Asian boy when he gets that figured out. Ties him up in the corner. It seems to be another round potentially for the Asian boy. Fakiri Saloum saying nothing doing. Must be a scary sight to see someone like Fakiri Saloum saying, yeah, bro, you got nothing on me. Usman Vizier. His cardio has never been an issue, but let's see if it'll stay not an issue or whether that will be a factor in this fight. So far, two rounds down, too early to say who's winning the fight, but Usman seems to have been the more aggressive fighter moving forward. Let's see what becomes in the third round of eight. It's going to be a long night for one of these gents. Let's see who it is. The Asian boy's 11th pro fight. His second defense of the title. Let's see if he can make this a special night for himself and all of the people here in Gilgit, Baltistan. Thank you all so much for being a part of history tonight. Daniel Nasser Mirza here on the mic for you all night long. We have some amazing fights coming up after this as well. Fakiri Salum, Mohammed Usman Wazir. This is the main event held early due to time restraints. And here we go. Third round. Jab down the middle for Fakiri. He's opening up a bit more with these shots. Usman as well. Needs to be careful not to get caught coming in, does Usman Wazir. Jab for Fakiri. That guard of Usman Wazir has been there for him. It's really helped him through a lot of his fights and even tonight. That high guard, forward pressure, counter pressing. That's what the Asian boy is all about. Fakiri now finding his rhythm, finding his feet. Usman now goes in. Lands one, one nice one. Fikiri once again says nothing doing. A lot of this is mental. In fact, I would say most of this is mental. Usman was here with a right over the top.
Fikiri hasn't been able to break the guard of the Asian boy. Usman has found a lot of success. Left hook to the body for the Asian boy. An uppercut to the guard. We're in the third round. Daniel Nasser Mirza here on the mic for you all night long in the ring and outside it. It is my honor to be reciting over this fight. Usman Vizier, the Asian boy, Fikiri Saloum Mohammed. Easily the most important boxing fight that's been held inside Pakistan for a very, very long time. The Asian boy seems to have gotten clipped there. Flinched a bit. Let's see if it's signs of any trouble. Coach Mehboob in the corner of Usman asking him to move. That is a nice right straight down the middle. Usman's right hand has been there. He's setting it up beautifully with the jabs. Takes a step outward when he's throwing that right hand. It adds extra power. Very technically sound is the Asian boy, giving him some looks and feints. Fikiri Saloum Muhammad's trying to moving in now. Nice jab by Fikri. Tanzanian boxers are tough and they have been the kryptonite for Osman Wazir. Waziri Rasta was easily Osman's toughest fight. And now as we move towards round number four, this fight proves to be a bit tough as well. Not all smooth sailing, although you can say the Asian boy is confident, calm and in control of the situation, not even using the stool. He's standing up, Fikiri on the stool. We're gonna go towards round number four, ladies and gentlemen, the halfway mark of this fight. An exciting back and forth contest so far. Everyone in Jutial, Gilgit City wants the Asian boy to get the win. Will their dreams come true or will this be a nightmare? We're gonna find out in the fourth round and moving forward. Seconds are out. Both fighters are going to meet in the center. Our referee from Ghana calls him there. Now Fikiri, like the last round, opening up fast and hard. These are heavy punches. Fikiri asking him to stand and trade. Let's see if Usman will bite. That seems to be a bit of a spear from Fikiri Saloum. Fikiri now putting on the pressure. Usman now retreating the pressure of Fikiri. Fikiri is held back in the first three, four, three rounds and he's now really starting to open up and show his power. Usman needs to be calm, composed, not get clipped with anything unnecessary. Left hook for Usman lands. You see some color on the face of Usman Vizier. Fikiri ducks under that punch. Hard, hard hands of Fikiri Saloum. Jab down the middle for Fikri. Usman doing well to circle out every time he's in trouble. A right straight landed there for Fikri. A jab down the middle for Usman. This has been the most competitive round in my book so far. But my books don't matter. It matters what the judges think. But Fikiri has really opened up in this round. Let's see if Usman is trying to get him to exhaust himself or what he's trying to do. But referee's doing a good job of making sure we can control the situation. Referee May Mensa in the middle. Jab down the middle now for Fikri Saloum. Oh, a hard left hook there. Usman needs to be careful not to get clipped by any of these clean. It could put his lights out. This is, a, like I said, a very hard hitter. Usman missed that uppercut, tied him up. 
This is the fourth round, ladies and gentlemen. Fakir Saloum has been very confident in this one. Right straight down the middle. Salma Usman now, pardon me. Missing my co-commentator. Circling out. Fakiri now with these three, four punches. This is a bad spot for the Asian boy to be in. The referee warning Fikri Saloum again. The Asian boy, orthodox in his stance, but not orthodox in his fighting style. Those downward punches that he showed, especially last year against Fadifan, are there. Left hook catches the glove of the Asian boy. If you wanted something answered tonight, the Asian boy has a chin. And he has a good defense more than a chin. He has been eating hard shots, but none of them clean. Usman Vizier, will he take the stool after round four? Apparently not. This is the level of confidence that the Asian boy has in himself. Fikiri Saloum, easily his best round, round number four. Rounds one through three, you could say, edging towards the Asian boy. But now we're going towards round number five, ladies and gentlemen. It is a tense atmosphere inside the Lalik John Stadium. It is absolute palpable tension. Usman Vizier could win or lose this fight. And that is the reality that sets in as soon as a round doesn't go necessarily in his favor. Fikri Saloum unloaded. Heavy shots in round four. Let's see how Usman Vizier can do in round five. Did not take the stool. That is a sound sign that he has the conditioning. Let's see what happens. Hook to the body, misses for Usman to open up round number five. Usman Vizier and Fakir Saloum standing and trading so far. Neither man has the edge, in my opinion. Usman now with a right straight. Fakiri with three punches of his own. Both fighters are defensively sound, ladies and gentlemen. Usman now moves in with that right. The crowd comes alive, and now Fikiri Saloum bringing that pressure back. Fikiri Saloum is easily the most physically capable fighter Osman has faced. Any kind of a knockdown in round five could change the momentum of the fight completely. Fikiri's jabs are starting to go through here. Usman might have not had the best recovery owing to the fact that he's also an event organizer, but Fikiri Saloum, he's traveled all the way from Tanzania to be here tonight. That has to take a toll as well. So both fighters are facing different forms of adversity. Usman covering up. Jab down the middle now. Usman opens up with a left hook. Immediately gets tied up by Fikiri Salu. Nice straight down the middle for Usman. Oh, right hand! The Asian boy! That's what it's all about. His ability to jump in right when he needs to. He's explosive and fast, and that's why he's so good. Crowds, the chance of Usman ringing throughout the crowd. Usman Vizier circling. Jab for Usman. We're going to come to the end of the round. The fifth round, pardon me. That was a interesting round, and it is up to the judges to see who won that one. But Usman not asking for any water. 
does not want the stool. He is more than comfortable, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be entering round number six of potentially eight rounds. It is a hotly contested battle, back and forth. An unbelievable crowd here inside the Lalik John Stadium in Gilgit City. Daniel Nasser Mirza here. It is my honor to be on the mic for you for today's bouts. This is the main event held early due to shortage of time. Usman Wazir defending the WBO World Youth Championship against Tanzania's Fikri Saloum Mohammed. Let's see what happens in the sixth round. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Round number six. Fikiri Saloum Muhammad in the black, Usman Wazir in the army green. This has been a tough fight for both guys, and around this point, you can expect both of them to start opening up. Three rounds left, including this one, and Usman does exactly what I said. Opens up to the body, left hook. One, two for Fikri, who puts his hands down. Says, come on, he's trying to bait him in. The Asian boy is definitely smarter than that. He knows he's facing a power puncher. He cannot take any unnecessary risks. Another jab for Fikri. Oh, right hand, and that is Rock Fikri Saloum. He has wobbled him. What a right hand by the Asian boy. Duck Thunder came up on top. Now Fikri unloading. Usman draws first blood in the damage department. And now once again, another right hand. Beautiful by the Asian boy. Usman is biding his time, waiting for the right opportunity. And my God, has he done a great job against Fikiri Saloum. Usman fainting, showing him these looks. Fikri Saloum with these jabs. He's trying to break the guard of the Asian boy. That one goes through. This one as well. Usman needs to be careful. I know he wants to finish in his hometown, but he cannot risk it against someone like Fikri Saloum, Muhammad. Right hand there. Usman switching between stances. Oh, there we go. Usman is so good at moving in. The crowd coming alive. Another right hand by the Asian boy. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why he's the pride of Gilgit Baltistan. A convincing round for the Asian boy. Round number six should be all his. Wobbled. Fikiri Saloum landed the bigger punches, but then again, Fikiri was very active with that jab. Thank God I'm not a judge. That's all I'll say. We will be going to the seventh round out of potential aid. Do not go anywhere. Stay right here, UW Promotions. Eight total rounds. This is the seventh, ladies and gentlemen. Usman Vizir, Fikiri Salu Muhammad. <laughs> 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 
Usman with a nice right overhand to open up round number seven as well. Daniel Nasser Mirza here on the mic with you all night long. Happy to be here. What an incredible fight in front of us here in the Lalik John Stadium in Gilgit City. Beautiful left body hook, a left uppercut right straight attempted by Usman, but nothing doing. Jab to the body by Fikri. Left and right. Fikri is using both hands really well. It looked like that right might have wobbled Usman, but not sure. Usman seems comfortable standing in front of him. Usman's getting hit here. Jab down the middle for Fikri Saloum. Usman's corner calling for him to be the one pressing forward. A two for Usman beautifully lands there. A jab for Fikri and a right hand for Usman Vazir. Oh, another right over the top. Usman's done a beautiful job of putting that left jab to the body and a right hand over the top. Fikri Saloum needs to be careful, so does Usman. Usman calling for the crowd to get in there. He's a showman, he's a team leader, and he's one of the best boxers that Pakistan has produced, bar none. And this is evidence. He's so comfortable in there. Usman. Once again, with that right hand on the entry. It must be so frustrating to fight Usman Vazir because he comes in so unexpected. Left hook, right hook over the top. 10 seconds left in the seventh round. We will be going to the eighth and final round, ladies and gentlemen. Usman Vazir looks impeccable on home soil. He might leave the question unanswered. Can anyone beat the Asian boy in Gilgit? Because so far it might seem like Fikiri Saloum is not the guy. Still too early to say. We don't know what the judges are thinking. We still have an eighth and final round. Do not go anywhere. Stay right here. UW Promotions, Karakurum International Boxing Championship. My name is Daniel Nasir Mirza, and I'm on the mic for you all night long. Eighth and final round to decide the WBO World Youth Champion. The champion, Usman Wazir. The challenger, Fikiri Saloum Muhammad. Pakistan versus Tanzania. Fikiri Saloum looking to empty his gas tank. Give him everything here in the final round. Usman very good in closing the distance and getting into that clinch. And that right hand has been there for him all night long. Oh, another right there for the Asian boy. Another right. He closes that distance so beautifully. Usman now talking to him there. Usman trying to move in for that jab, cross, combination that's worked for him all night long. He mixes in an overhand there sometimes. Fikiri Saloum is a hard man to beat. Yeah. 
our right hand for the Asian boy. Our right hand overhand. Usman now asking him to stand and trade like Fikri did at the start. Up game plan proven to perfection. Usman waited for the first few rounds, has not used the stool the entire fight and is now feeling himself. He needs to be careful though. And he's telling him to give it. <laughs> Usman Vizier taunting him. Usman Vizier. He knows it's his game from here. Right hand again. Usman Vizier is in his full rhythm. This is where he shines. The last round. He's not even looking at his opponent. This is why he's a superstar. It's not just his boxing skill. He's made to be an entertainer. He's made to be a leader, a team captain. A right overhand there. The jabs of Fakir Saloom haven't stopped, but you can tell he's not as confident as he was in round two or three. Right overhand for the Asian boy and left hook. Fikiri is wobbling. It looks to be the Asian boy ending the fight in control. And that is all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Usman Wazir, the Asian boy, on top of the world, on top of the ring. It looks like he's done enough, but we will find out for sure in just a few moments when we come back with the judges' scorecards. Don't go anywhere. Stay right here. UW Promotions. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight hard rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge one scores it, 79, 72. Judge two scores it, 80, 71. And judge three scores it, 79, 73. For your winner, by unanimous decision. Let's go!